everybody. It is day five, May 5th, 2020. Um, just got my tea, I've got my stuff ready to get going with my work. I'm going to start that in a minute, but I just want to let you guys know or update you guys what's gonna to happen today. Um, so today is garbage day, woohoo! So I shot a little video of that earlier before this. I'll probably roll that in after this, um, but then you probably won't see me until supper time or after supper. Um, also, it's grocery day, which is a very exciting day for being in lockdown. So um, I'll be going out doing that today. I'll show some time-lapse video of that probably. And then I think tonight um, I'm going to talk about March and what I did in March. Um, because I need to, I want to let you guys know because I was pretty slack on doing videos. So I want to show you, tell you, at least talk to you guys about it and what I did and uh, what I took away from it. So in March, I did fasting. So we'll talk about that later tonight. So yeah, I'm going to go work and we'll see you guys probably this evening. Cheers. Everybody, I am out getting some groceries. Um, the once a week venture outside during lockdown. Um, I'll try to get some footage of me or time lapse of me doing grocery shopping, but I don't know. I feel weird doing vlogging out in the public. Um, maybe that will change. I don't know. Don't, you don't see a lot of people doing this out when I'm out around here where I'm, I live, so might get some weird stares and stuff, but um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think I'll just do a time lapse. It'll be a lot easier, and I'll feel more comfortable doing that, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, groceries are done. I just, a very small clip in there, um, a bit weird. I don't like it. Um, yeah, so on the way home, I'll try to get a time lapse on the way home. I'm back home and I'm gonna bring in the groceries. And the wife and I are going to be doing a, a video for one of her close friends. Um, his birthday is this weekend? Yeah, I think it's this weekend. So this video is just to say like, happy birthday because uh, we can't uh, be there. They're in New Brunswick. And yeah, it's a pretty cool idea. You basically just say video, happy birthday, whatever. So we're going to do that this evening. And then I've got, I want to do my talk about March on what I did. So that will probably be the next thing you see um, me saying to you. So... And then I've got some editing to do this evening for yesterday's video. 
All right, everybody, it is day five, May 5th. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what I did in March. So in March, I did a I did fasting. I think I talked about this in the first vlog. Um, I did 16 hours of fasting, and then I did eight hours where I would be able to eat. So the times I chose for that month was from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m., um, and I did that every day. Now, during this time in March, um, for the first part of March, I was still going to work, I was traveling on the bus, I was going to the gym in the mornings, so I think it was like two or three times a week I would be doing fairly aggressive running, aggressive I mean high pace running, so I would, I found it very hard to, I always love eating breakfast, so I would be, I would get up and eat breakfast right away, so it was the first two weeks were, the first week was pretty hard to get through that for me to wait until 11. Um, I drank a lot of tea <laughs> to try to um, curb my, or curb my hunger. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty hard. That first week was difficult to get through, but I mean, I got through it and I would eat. The thing is though, when I did eat, I ate a lot. Um, so usually whenever you do fasting, a lot of people do it to try to lose weight. So they reduce the amount of time they're eating so they don't, and they, I think they must eat just less number of meals where I would eat my breakfast at 11 and then I would eat my lunch at 1 2 o'clock and then I would come home and have supper between five and seven. So the second week it started to get a bit better and I wasn't as hungry during the mornings until I got to lunch. Um, and then I found on weekends, it was no trouble. I could, usually most weekends I'd be, I wouldn't eat until noon. And then I would eat until eight o'clock instead of seven. The other thing I found difficult with the 11 to 7 on weekends is if you wanted to have eat late at night or you wanted to have a drink you couldn't and then then the quarantine and the lockdown stuff happened so it wasn't as bad because I wasn't working out as much in the mornings so I wouldn't get as hungry so I don't know if I got better at you know my my whatever my schedule internally um, for eating changed or if it was just because I wasn't doing as much um, working out in the morning. Um, so essentially, I got through the month. Um, by the end of the month, actually, it was really easy to get to 11 o'clock. Um, and what I really took away from it is that I didn't like the, the time constriction in the evenings because um, I usually, it's for me to get to work, it's an hour bus ride and then an hour bus ride home. So I get home and if I stay late, which I typically do because I'm working quite a bit, I don't get home until seven if I, if I leave to six. So I would, there was a few times where I did break the time constraints or restrictions because I got home, I had to eat. <laughs> so some nights I would be, it'd be eight o'clock before I get something to eat. So what I'm taking away from the month was that I do like the idea. I kind of like getting up and not having to worry about eating or anything. I can just get up, get ready and start working or get up and go to the bus, all that kind of stuff. And that, I like that about it. And I didn't like the evening thing, like I just said, because I, I don't know when I'm going to be home. So I don't know, I, I, that, that's where I like, I don't like that. So what I've decided to do moving forward, and I don't know if I've really talked about this, I probably a little bit in the very first video with the um, January month, is that I liked, I'm gonna, most of the stuff that I'm doing is, um, I'm trying to keep it in my routine every day. So what I do now for my fasting is I do from 10 a.m. 
till about 8 p.m. And if I break the 8 p.m. That restriction, that's fine because I'm trying to generally do these things and keep them in my routine. So if I went out to eat or I went to have dinner, well, can't go to dinner, but if I would, would go out to dinner and stuff on a Saturday night and it was eight or nine o'clock, I'm not worried about that because I do it every once in a very few times in a month kind of thing. So that's what I'm trying to do with, with the fasting. So that's, I mean, the fasting thing was pretty, um, there's not much really to talk about besides those things. You know, I like the idea of it. I like being able to get up in the morning and not worry about trying to find food. I just have it packed the night before and I take it with me. And then when it comes 10 o'clock, I, I eat. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's the end of today's vlog. So we'll see you tomorrow. And then I'll talk about the April um, thing I did. And... We'll go from there. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.